So the pull rates for Pokemon Go seem to be really, really good. I've actually even seen someone pull a Radiant Charizard and an alternate Art Mewtwo from the same booster pack. What I have noticed though, is that most of the bigger pull rates and the better pull rates seem to be coming from collection boxes. So today we are gonna be opening the Team Instinct, Mystic, and Valor collection boxes to see how we go on the hits and how good the pull rates are. So let's rip into it. Okay, so today we're opening these collection boxes, the Valor, Instinct, and Mystic collection boxes. We're going to be seeing just how good the hits are on these collection boxes compared to how well I did on the Radiant one and even the Alone and Executor boxes. Honestly, I think they're like the hidden gem of the Pokemon Go lineup. They were incredible for hits. They honestly, honestly were. I was just blown away by how well we did from them. Now, just before I open these up though, I have a question. In Pokemon Go, what team are you? Are you Team Valor? Are you Instinct? Are you Mystic? I myself am Team Valor, but how about you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, guys, we're gonna kick off with Team Mystic, and uh, they do look, these collection boxes look incredible, like from all angles, really nice. And there's a lot of items in this, I swear, like the Radiant Box and this, they would actually look really nice as sealed items on your shelf, but we're gonna do that, we're gonna open it. All right, let's kick off with the badge. These are really nice looking little badges, actually. Once again, I say it, I will order a cork board. I swear I will, and I'll have a little display of all the pins I've got at some point. Oh, we have the code card, yay! The full art Blanc trainer card. This thing looks, the art style on these full art trainers is incredible because it's more lifelike than most Pokemon Go artwork, and I think these look amazing. I collect full art trainer cards, so these were a must have. I can't wait to get these in my binder. You also get this in each box, and these are like gifts and rewards you can claim for Pokemon Go. So yeah, you guys fill your boots and whatever, enjoy. And then most importantly for me guys, six booster packs. All right, pack number one. And uh, I am reckoning we're gonna get at least one Radiant card. I tell you what, I wouldn't mind as well, a Ditto. I didn't get a dit out of my Radiant box, but when I opened some exec Alone and Executor boxes, we got two dittos from two Alone and Executor boxes. It went really, really well. Right, let's go. Guys, I am loving this set. How are you guys getting on with Pokemon Go? Have you managed to get hold of any at all just yet? If so, how's it going? Let us know down below. Right. Oh, we got the Charmander. Lovely, lovely. Right, Loon no, no Radiant card, no Ditto. And hey, Venusaur. I now have all three. I'd already pulled the Charizard and the Blastoise. I have now all three Gem 1 Star Arlos. Happy days. Right. Now, what are we classing as like a big hit, by the way, guys? Like, do you reckon getting like a Gem 1 or like the Pikachu counts as like a hit or something from this? Or do you, would you say, oh, by the way, if that's a hit, the quality of the cornering on that is terrible. And uh, I don't think it is. I think it's just a hollow. So let's hope that we get something else big. Squirtle looks really nice. Yeah, I hadn't pulled this yet. I've done, This seems like one of the harder Pikachus in the set to actually get. Right, bit oof, but not a ditto. A Charmander, right, here we go. Come on, boom, oh! Oh, that's a good hit. Reverse hollow Pikachu. Very happy with that, followed by an Articuno Hollow, which, as I said, the quality control on that Articuno is shocking. Now, just before I open any more packs, if you need to get yourself some Pokemon Go product, I actually have a little bit available on my website, evocards.co.uk. I'm also gonna be opening pre-orders very soon for the Pokeball tins and the mini tins, which are by far and away my go-to product for any holiday set. They're normally the best value for money one if you just wanna open packs. Well, if you wanna get hold of some and know when the pre-orders are available, make sure to head to my site and sign up to the stock alert emails. That'll be the first place we let know when the pre-orders are available. So if you wanna do that, head to the site or head to the link in the description down below. Oh, and once you've done that, if you want to help support the channel and you want to get involved in a ton of giveaways, like massive giveaways, we've got coming up next month, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that alert bell so you don't miss out on them. And also give the video a like if you're enjoying it so far. It'd be very much appreciated. So thank you. Right, so I've actually put that Pikachu to one side because I think that's a really good hit to get, to be honest. Um, people are going to want all the Pikachus from this, so I can see that one being a pretty popular card. Like, not, not exactly not massive valuable, but like, you know, popular nevertheless. Um, but for me, it's that Radiant Charizard I need to get my hands on. Oh, I really need that card. Let's hope. Oh, look. 
I talk about this Pikachu and I've I've pulled three now. <laughs> I've just pulled, I've literally pulled three. Right, Squirtle, Meltan, a bit oof. Yes! <laughs> Look, guys, we got a Ditto card followed by the Moltres Hollow as well in there. We're gonna put that to one side. And we are going to take a closer look at this Ditto. So there we go. You can tell it's the Ditto because it's got that little logo down the bottom there. The uh, the card also feels thicker. And a little bit tacky is the one thing you'll find on the edge of the card. But let's open up. I'm finding the bottom corner. Let's see if I get on. There you go. The bottom left seems to work the best. And here we go, guys. Boom. Beautiful, I now have one of the dittos. That is so much fun, that really is. Just FYI though, if you are opening stuff, it only seems to come in the reverse holo slot, so be aware of that. Um, you would look out Pokemon quality control and stuff like that, I've been hearing some issues, but it should normally come in the reverse holo slot. And there we go, we got a ditto. Question is though, like guys, what do you reckon you should do with this afterwards? What do you reckon? Let me know. Right, okay, we've got three packs left. So far, we've got the Ditto and Hollows. We need a we need a couple more hits. We need a Radiant, I think, to really make this collection box pop. But so far, very happy. We've got the Ditto. We've got that Reverse Pikachu. You know, we've got the Venusaur. Very, very happy. Looking really good. That's a spinner act. I wonder if we're going to get double Dittos. Uh, no, we haven't, no. But, uh, oh, there we go. Two of the Gem ones. All three in one box that'd be good right two packs left from team mystic so far team mystic you've done well you've given me a ditto i needed a ditto uh you've given me the venusaur i needed the venusaur plus the blastoise can you follow it up with another big hit i'm i'm hoping so i feel like this is a very achievable set to complete as well it might be one that i might ma master as well look at that water slowpoke lavata apom spinarak Alona, Ratatata, and a Meltan. That's one that can be a Ditto as well, I think, but that one isn't. Followed by, oh, it's a Mel Metal V. So yeah, we're doing pretty damn well for it. Obviously you get hollow per pack, but you know, to get the Gem ones, to get the Meltan, uh, Mel Metal, sorry, it's good. Right, last pack magic from Mystic, and then we'll jump into Instinct, I think, and we'll save Team Valor, my team. We'll save that one till last. Right, code card. Come on, baby. Come on, give us a big hit. We need a big hit. So, right. War Turtle, Iron Pheasant, Raticate, Tranquil, Lavata, Abipom, Natu, Laprisi, Reverse Hollow. This is one of the harder cards to get your hands on, actually. Especially, look, it's a Reverse Hollow Rare as well. So, that is a very nice card. But we're going to follow it up with. A Blissey! That I haven't pulled yet. Oh man, we are flying through this set. Look though, look at that. There is a bow to the Pokemon Go set, I've noticed, in the hollow side of things. Yeah, a bit weird. All right, guys, time for Team Instinct. All right, so let's kick it with that badge. And we got the Zapdos badge. And I think I might look... Mm, it's difficult. Difficult to know which one I think is favourite. I do really like this one. It's really sharp. It's got like a Power Rangers vibe to me. We then have that code card. Yoop. We also have the Pokemon Go codes to claim, so good luck with you guys. Someone, if you've op done this, can you let me know down below what, what they actually are? I've just been giving them away, but maybe I should claim some. We then have the Spark promo card looking very nice. Again, more lifelike design on this. I think I prefer the Mystic promo card to the Spark one with probably the Chandler, uh, with the um, Candela, Candela being my favorite actually. And there is our six booster packs right there. Let's get into these. Right, pack number one. Let's go, right, okay. One, two, three, four. Right, come on, we wanna see a big one. So far, these have been actually pretty good to me. I'm very happy with the pulls. I still back collection boxes being extremely good. And I'm seeing we have a biggish hit at the back as well, guys. Very excited to see what it is. Let's find out. So we've got the egg. We didn't get a radium. We got the egg incubator. But what did we finish with? Ooh, Dragonite V-Star. Another one that I do not have. Happy days, Dragonite V-Star. 
Well, yeah, I think I'm very much on my way to getting a master set for this, actually, as it stands. So maybe I'm going to have to do it. I need to get a binder for it. Right. One pack in, and we're down a V Star. Come on, let's see a full art. Let's see, the, let's see a Radiant. Give us a Radiant. Come on. Give me a Radiant. Daddy wants a Radiant. I've got the uh, Venusaur so far. Can we get <laughs> another Pikachu? All that talk. Maybe it's not as rare as I thought. But I'm sure it'll still be popular for people to get. Ooh, it's the Rattata in the reverse. And Charizard, come on! We've pulled all three Gen 1s in this opening so far. And a Charizard. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, I know I get excited. Obviously, I don't think that Charizard's really going to hold much value. You know, uh, I know it's one of the harder hollows to pull. But it's not like super hard, you know. Um, I've pulled it twice so far. Uh, actually three times because I've even pulled the reverse rare version of it, which I need, but I pulled it in uh, a bit stream. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that to that. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. It's just a bit gutting when you see the Charizard in the reverse hollow, but it doesn't have Radiant in front because the Radiant's obviously the rarer one. And uh, it caught some decent value, about 40 quid in value to that at the moment. Right, there's that Pikachu again. I'm talking about a loner Rattata. Here we go, Radiant. Ah, no Radiant there, but oh, it's a Golos Pod, probably. One of the least popular hollows. All right, three more packs to go. And uh, so far, so good. You know, I know we haven't got a secret rare. We haven't got an alternate R. We got that V star. We got the V. You know, I think, again, doing very well. And uh, still plenty of packs to go as well. Pikachu. We're getting them in like every pack now. I talked about it too much. Right. The barrel. Natu, not a ditto, but a Alonan Executor V. I was saying it's strange. They actually do, uh, they've actually got the Alonan Executor collection books, but they still released another Exona Executor artwork for the set as well. I was about to go, oh, four hits from four packs. He's going, but of course, it's, it's a hollow per booster pack. So, you know, in theory, you should get six from six, you know, if you're opening in a whole box. But uh, I, I'm still happy. Let's keep it going though. Radiant card. Come on. We need to get at least one Radiant card out of these three boxes, I reckon. Right, Meltel. Eevee. <laughs> Pikachu again. Squirtle. A Pupitar as my reverse. That's not ideal. That's what we want to see. But, oh, it's the Snorlax Hono. Okay, that I don't have. Very happy to get hold of that one. And again, a rarer one of the lights. One you don't see as much. Right, last pack magic from Team Instinct. So far, Team Instinct, Team Instinct I think could be winning, in my opinion, when it comes to hits. Uh, how about you guys? Which one do you think is gonna be the best one of the lot? Which one's got the better opening, with better packs? Let, let us know down below. Right, Water, oh, come on. Charmander in there, Apom. Bulbasaur in there as well. We didn't get Squirtle in the same one. That'd be like kind of like a mini god pack if you got all three gens out of one one opening, wouldn't it? Right, Magic Carp, a Charmander Reverse. Get in. Happy with that. Very happy with that. What's it followed by? And a Zapdos Hollow. I needed the Zapdos. We got the Moltres and the Articuns. So we got all three legendaries. The Reverse Charmander. That that's a good one for me. Okay, time for Team Valor. Come on, bring it home. Bring us a Radiant Carp. We need to see one. Anyway, here is the badge from the Team Valor, and ooh, maybe, I don't know, oh, maybe I prefer the Zap, I'm not sure. I like that, they're all really nice pins, to be honest. There is that code card, good luck, you. Of course, we have those Pokemon Go codes, Ingen, 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 Ingen. Enjoy. We have the Candela Full Art promo. That one looks really cool. I love the, the way you got the logo looking over the shoulder. I think that looks sick. They smashed it with these Full Art promo cards. I absolutely love them. And then here we go. Six booster packs to get a Radiant Charizard. Let's go with pack number one and let's see how we get on. Come on. Big things, please. Big things. I'm bigging up these collection boxes. So far, They've been good, but I wouldn't say the pull rates have been as amazing as what I've been seeing elsewhere. Maybe these ones just aren't quite as good. Maybe it's the Alone Executors are just the better for pull rates on them. Um, they are the ones that I think seem to have the best pulls a lot. I was hoping these would be up there for the value and stuff. So, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Right. A Blissey Reverse Hollow. That is still a very cool car. Looking, it's a 
Blissy looking a bit pussy, as I've been told. And... <laughs> what? New to V-Star gold card has been put... Damn! We... What? Okay, first secret rare of the opening, actually. I don't think we've pulled one yet. I don't think the Ditto's class one. Oh, my word. That thing looks in incredible as well that is beautiful the condition is not too shabby there's no whitening that i can really see on the back it may be a little bit off top to bottom but i think that would still fall in the 60 40 range just about oh man so happy all right guys that was some first pack magic right there i wasn't even thinking that was gonna happen oh my god the gold v star mewtwo that <laughs> I am seriously happy about that. Damn, oh my God. Very happy, come on. This box, is this one gonna be the one I stacked? Give me Radiant cards in here as well. Give me more Dittos. Right, here we go. And, ah, uh, no Ditto, but, oh, we got a Gary. I don't have the Gyarados yet. That, I am very, that must be one of the harder ones to get. I've opened a few packs, it's the first time. Whereas the Charizard I've seen twice, I've seen the Blast Toys twice, more than twice, I've seen the Venusaur now. The Gyarados seems to be trickier to get. Right, we've got four left, and it's gone really well. Like, I'm not saying, like, we've not got bang, 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 you know, we haven't got those secret rares per box. So they're still pretty good, but I have to say, my honest opinion as it stands right now is it's maybe the alone and executor boxes are the ones to go for right now over these if you had the choice i probably wouldn't buy these ones again i'd probably go would alone executors or etbs or something uh if i was just looking to open the packs right now but uh, to get the trainer card amazing right oh <laughs> yes oh my god this box is stacked this box is incredible what the hell this is crazy stacked the radiant charizard followed by the uh, radiant radiant venusaur sorry guys Annoyingly, this is the one I already have, but I guess it will go towards any trades I may do over in my Discord, which, by the way, is linked in the description down below if you want to come join it. So I might have to look at doing a wee trade for the Radiant Venusaur to try and get the Blast Toys and the Charizard. So, but yeah, a secret and a Radiant. Okay, I don't know if I can expect too much more out of this box, can I? It's been pretty fully loaded to get both of those hits. It's pretty... I don't know, if we get something else like this, I'd be pretty damn amazed, actually. We can always hope. We can always hope. Uh, Tranquil, Lavata, Natu, and Bomb. Oh, it was red for a moment. I thought Charizard, but you never know. He's a Tyranitar. How cool is that artwork on that Tyranitar? That looks seriously cool. Right, guys, two packs left. Let's see. It's. I, I need to stop mentioning that Pikachu. It's clearly not got the rarity in it that I potentially thought it might do. That thing seems to be coming out everywhere for me right now. Right, Chansey, Spark, there it is. Wimpod, P-Dove, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. Oh! <laughs> but look at that, now I now have the reverse Charmander and the reverse Charmeleon to go alongside it. What's gonna be at the back? Oh, it's the Snorlax again! Two times we've pulled that now in this opening. With that Charmeleon, very happy. Okay, last pack magic, guys. Can this one pull something out of the fire? Can this get the Charizard? Maybe the Radiant Blast Toys, the Altart Mewtwo. Can we get one more big hit? Am I being greedy from this box? Has this box already given as good as it's going to give? Because it's been an extremely good box, that is for sure. Can we get one more hit? We got the Charmander. We got the Wimpod. The P-Dove. The Magic Carp. It's the Bidoof. Oh, and it's not a Ditto. A reverse Bidoof, and it's not a Ditto. Okay, here we go. Last card. It's a Sylveon Hollow. One I do not have. But that is going to be a very popular Hollow from the set, being an evolution like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, pretty happy with the way that ended. 
Okay, so I don't think that went too bad. In the end, we had about a one in three pull ratio, but I did actually find that alone in executor boxes gave a much better ratio of one in two. You seem to get two hits per collection box. So I think right now, they are the hidden gem and should probably be one of the go-to products, to be honest, maybe over these. Again, I would still grab these because of the promo cards, but I'm probably not gonna get any more from this point. I'm gonna focus more on the alone in executor or maybe even an ETB. But how about you? What do you think, guys? What's going to be your go-to product? Is it going to be any of these? Or are you going to be holding out until the mini tin and the Pokeball tins come? Which, by the way, I do think will be the best product to buy. In my opinion, they'd be the ones that I'd be spending most of my money on. But how about you? Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that alert bell so you don't miss some massive, massive giveaways we've got coming at the end of July. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it or a dislike, I guess, if you didn't. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.